y'all. Welcome to fourth grade, chapter five, lesson five. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, before we do, I found a prime numbers chart, super easy on Google. It took me about three seconds to find and print out. Um, so if you guys are able to, find one, print it out, keep it handy, okay? Because we need to tell whether these numbers are prime or composite, okay? So we need to look for the number on the prime chart, okay? Now, you'll see that these numbers are blocked out, okay, because only the prime numbers are here, okay? So, 68 is our first one, and that's not a prime number, so it's going to be composite. Okay, let's look again, okay? Any number, that is an even number that is bigger than two is going to be a composite number, okay? So, that one's easy. Okay, looking for any more even numbers. Oh, there's an even number, composite. Okay, now, the rest of these are gonna wanna be a little more tricky, okay? So, 63. Not on here, and I know that nine times seven is 63. So that one is composite. Okay, 75, I know five is gonna go into that. It's gonna be composite. Okay, 31. Well, I know six times five is 30. Oh, look, 31. 31 is going to be prime. Okay. 77. Well, it's a double number, which means 11 is going to go into it, which makes it composite. Okay. Yes, most of these are going to be composite. Okay. I want you guys to go through and do 8, 9, 11, and 12. Okay. You guys can totally do that. Okay. And we're going to go down to number 13, and it says Kai wrote the number 85 on the board. Is 85 prime or composite? Well, 85 ends in a 5, which means that 5 goes into it, okay? So, 85 is composite, okay? And it says explain, which means that you need to write down the factor. So, 1 and 85, okay? 2 doesn't go into it. But five, and then you need to find out five times what, and I'm just gonna tell you five times 17 is 85, okay? Okay, so that is your explanation, okay? All right, Lisa says that 43 is a two-digit odd number that is composite, is she correct? Okay, so 43, well, 43 is on our prime numbers, okay? So, 43 is odd, okay? It ends in a three, a three is not an even number, okay? But it is prime, okay? And then you can put only one and 43. Those are the only factors that make up 43, okay? All right, guys, we're going to go on to the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check, like always. And we're going to go down and do the final review. Okay? Okay, but before you go, pause that, take a picture, go on Google yourself and print it out. It's super easy, guys. Okay? But keep a copy of that handy. Okay? All right. So spiral review says the recipe for a vegetable dish contains a total of 924 calories. The dish serves six people. How many calories are in each serving? So that's going to be easy. All we got to do is 924. And divide that by six. It serves six. Okay. So 924 calories, six people, calories, whatever it is, it's going to be in calories. Okay, so six goes into nine one time. One times six is six. Subtract, get three. All right. Three is smaller than six, so I can bring down 
my 2. 6 goes into 32 five times. 5 times 6 is 30. Subtract, get 2. Okay. 2 is smaller than 6, so I'm going to bring down my 4. And 6 goes into 24. 4 times 4 times 6 is 24. Subtract, get 0. So 154 calories. There we go. Okay, write your work down. Okay. A store clerk has sold 45 shirts in pack, pack in boxes. Each box holds six shirts. What are the fewest boxes the clerk will need to pack all the shirts? Well, again, super easy, 45. We're going to divide that by six. Okay. Remember that if there's a remainder, that we need to add another box. Because we can't just have those floating off into space, we need to add a box to send them in. So the closest I can get with 6 to 45 is going to be 42, which is 7 times. I have 3 left over, okay? Now those 3, I can't leave floating into space. So I'm going to have 7 plus I'm going to add a box for those 3. So I'm going to have 8 boxes. Okay, make sure you write down your work, okay? All right, a total of 152,909 people visited a national park during one weekend. What is this number rounded to the nearest 100,000? Well, 1, 5, 2, 9, 0, 9, and to the nearest 100,000, okay? Well, we have 1s, 10s, Hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. So we have to round to this number, okay? That means that we need to look at this number, and if this number is five or bigger, then it's going to have that go up to a two. It is five, so it's going to have to go up to a two, and then everything afterwards becomes a zero, so two hundred thousand. Okay, you guys can show your work there. You're good. Okay, all right. What is the word form of 602,107? Well, that's right. 600,000, comma, anywhere there's a comma here, there goes a comma here. 107. Okay, there you go, guys. All right, thanks for hanging out for 5.5. For Come on back for 5.6. See you soon.